Well, Steve Arts, Steve Arts 89. Well, Quantum Leap is back. Um, I didn't realise, I mean, it was one of the few shows I enjoyed um, last year, and I was really enjoying it every week, and then it went on a hiatus, and I didn't pay too much attention about when it was coming back. Um, it came back on the 2nd, and I just found out today, so I watched it, and it was nice. It was nice to have it back. I like the show. There's not a lot of shows I like at the moment. And it's also one of those very positive shows where it's not dark and nihilistic and cynical and everyone dies at the end. It's usually about saving people and making people's lives better. So um, this episode was called Fellow Travellers and it had Ben um, in the body of a bodyguard who was taking care of a singer. Um, what was her name? Oh, Carly Farmer. So I'm not sure if she's based on any real person, but um, she's doing a show in 1979 and apparently she is killed by a falling um, set of lights on the stage. But Ben stops that. Then she's stabbed by her sister apparently, but then Ben stops that. Then she's stabbed by, I guess, her sister again. But um, they already know it's not the sister at that point, so they know someone set her up. Um, eventually they do work it out. At first I thought it was Trevor the assistant or manager or whatever he was so that was kind of the obvious choice and I'm a bit embarrassed by that but yes I thought it was him but it wasn't him he was sort of part of it but he was sort of unknowingly part of it and it ended up being the backup singer so but I mean the interesting parts of the episode were more um, Addison is annoyed that he didn't share with her that she was in danger and he basically rescued her without her consent um, so they're working through their issues while he's sort of trying to help, um, was it Carly? Yeah, Carly. And he's kind of talking to Addison through her at times because, um, there's also trust issues and romance issues there. She's apparently, there's some interest with the, um, the bodyguard. Um, but yeah, so they basically resolve their issues to the point where he... Well, he doesn't really know why he did what he did, he just knows what he did. So they haven't really resolved it, but they sort of work through it um, in that, you know, they've made a mistake in the past, they're going to move on, let's focus on the future, blah, blah, blah. So that's okay. Um, the other part that happens is Janice is captured. Now, Jen, lying little person that she is, finds Janice at some, like, resort with bodyguards, and they sit down to have a chat. She's like, I'm not here to, like, you know take you back, blah, 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 yet she hires the bodyguards and pays them to actually turn on Janice and take her back to Quantum Leap. So she goes in and she confronts everyone and, and you know, they're like, we're going to question you. She's like, are you going to waterboard me? And, you know, help me know, <laughs> what, what are you going to do? Um, well, we don't know yet because that's where the episode ended. But um, yeah, so they've got her and they're going to work this out. I mean, by the end of the season, we'll know everything, everything that happened and why. Um, I'm guessing it's not going to result in um, Ben being returned and he's going to keep leaping. So I'm wondering what the story is going to be for the next season. And this is the problem with these sort of shows where they have this one story for a season that they tell in parts. It, if you're not engaged, it really just drags out and is a waste of time. And if you have to resolve each sort of story by the end of the season, you have to have a new one for the next season. And sometimes it's better to just have a basic premise for each, like, episode of a season, like, of, of a show. Um, like, he's just trying to get home and that's it. Um, it can sort of work for or against the show if you sort of put too much emphasis on some sort of big season arc. So I'm um, not sure where they're going with that, but I did enjoy this episode. They did have a lot of fun with it um and the security guard ends up getting stabbed at the end and it's, it's kind of funny to see um ben react to you know i've never been stabbed before in that um but yeah he watches the show at the end um the sister actually they originally worked together and she there was dramas there where she was replaced and had an addiction and then the assistant or manager was acting as though she was stalking her and so forth and keeping them separate so he could keep helping to write the songs with her and the sisters end up working together and getting back together and singing together that's the end of the episode and the song was kind of nice I don't know I just I enjoy this show it makes me happy things that are wrong are right and that's not always something we get to do or have in our own lives so it's nice 
it's sort of like Highway to Heaven or Ghost Whisper. It's one of those shows that you just feel good about. And I've kind of needed one of these shows in my life because I don't think I've had a show like that in my life since Ghost Whisper. So, yeah. I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Um, I don't know how many more episodes is left. I think they're doing 16. So we've got a few left. But, um, yeah. I'm curious where the show is going to go overall as a series as opposed to just this season. But, um, yeah. I'm going to go. Bye.